brakes cold. So I didn't realize until I was here how like a giant weight felt lifted off my shoulders. And don't get me wrong, this has been a lot of work, but I am super pumped. All right, guys, well, I'm sure you know already you can win our beautiful, fully loaded, nicely built 22 Denali and 10 grand in cash, but this week only, you can win a tool in your order as well. Every order you place on the website gets you automatically entered to win, well, the truck and the cash, but a tool as well. And I can't wait to hear the comments on which one you guys like the most, which brand you like the most, because I know tool people are as loyal as truck people. Yes, you can win a tool in your order. Everything you see there, we're giving away to you guys. We dropped about 10 grand at Home Depot on this stuff. So I hope you like it. Every order, something small or big, uh, everything gets you eligible to win the truck and the cash and a tool. So good luck. Hit the link down below. Get something you like and maybe find a little something extra in your order. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Hope all of you are having a great day. Today's flavor is Orange Dreamsicle, another good one. And my apologies for not uploading for about four or five days, but as you can see, the weather has been really bad. Now, normally I do like to wait until it's better, but I can't wait forever. It's already been four or five days. It's time to make some content. And today is going to be a fun one. We're going to fab speed with the Huracan for some goodies. Now you guys know there is going to be a big build on this car, but kind of like my C6ZR1, I can't wait. I can't leave nothing stock. So even if it's going to be, even if it's going to be somewhat temporary, I still got to modify it. I got to make it louder. And uh, that's exactly what we're doing today. It's time to let this car breathe. Or I guess really exhale. Uh, it's time to let this car exhale as much as we can possibly make it exhale and maybe even shoot some big flames out the back because we're doing a full race setup on the car and then sending the ECU to VF for a flame tune. Now always remember Ladesh, if I don't upload on the main channel and they're wanting more content, they can check out the Mike and Gina channel. Good chance I uploaded something on there or Gina did or whatever. We always got something going on. And with that being said, let's go. Well, you can't hear any of this audio. The TRX is in the background. Yeah, that truck is uh, pretty freaking insane. But the Huracan may just be a little louder here shortly. Can you even hear it at all? Yeah, maybe a little, a little bit. Okay, now of course the car isn't always this quiet it really depends on what mode you're in we can go sport and then Stra or, uh, Corsa Strata is the quietest Corsa is the loudest I don't know if you can hear the difference on camera that much but Corsa gets pretty good again I don't think good enough we have to modify it but it's not too bad not bad Big twin turbo not. build. I thought about you know maybe doing a VF supercharger setup on the car. Um, Parker had one way back in the day. DDE has one. I think they've done a couple, and they look really epic. And you guys know me, I love destination supercharged is on cars. So we'll see. Maybe do that before doing the big twin turbo build. It wouldn't be too bad financially. Let me know in the comments if you want to see a supercharged Huracan on the channel. But we are here at Fab Speed. Now, the last time we were here, we did all the C8Z stuff, which was pretty epic, but I think this one might even top that. That V8 sounded really good, but it's hard to beat a V10, it really is. Actually, let's have a little fun. No ESC, maybe do a couple donuts here. It's wet out, should be good. I haven't tried this yet, but... <laughs> oh my God, it's a ripper. Oh my God, that all wheel drive is nuts. Oh my God. <laughs> it won't let you keep doing it, but it's super tight. Oh, yeah. Two donuts. 
It's just a little tiny circle That's out there. Great. It's like actually violent. This is real quiet. So quiet. Boring mode. It's not that bad actually. <laughs> of course it's pretty bad. Yeah. That's the before. After coming soon. Beautiful GT4 RS, Cayman GT4, Porsche 718, GT4 RS in a great color. You picked that out, right, Joe? This is pink to sample, my old purple metallic. That is incredible. <laughs> what a color. Went into the Porsche deal in 2019, they told me to go away. There's no such thing <laughs> as a GT4 RS. I said, here, take my check for $2,500. I was first in line at my dealer. They, I actually got a second one, but I passed wow. on it. Wow. The y sock seats, dry carbon, full Alcantara, manual, of course. What a spec. And then, just like a fighter jet aircraft, we wow. made our own stickers. So if somebody's <laughs> hand or a little like dog that. goes in there, he can't lose something. I like that. Fab speed set up on there as well with the carbon tips. Really cool. That combo is just perfect. Purple with the gold, gold kind of bronze wheels, carbon everywhere. Look at the vented fenders too. Vents. These, these are actually vents. functional. They took them off the cup cars. And then it goes in there to keep the brakes cold. Oh, so that's a brake vent. And this is to, uh, at top speed on the Autobahn or something. It makes the air comes out of the fender so it's low pressure and the car, the car just sits. It's basically an upside down aircraft. So cool. We'll it have to have you take this out. Oh they man. Give the Pennsylvania State Troopers a heart attack. <laughs> when like you're already not doing that all right, day. Yeah. I was I was one day in and I got pulled over in that. I'm pumped boys. I know Fab Speed gonna hook it up. This car is going to sound a lot better. They do it great here. And uh, we'll be back shortly for the reveal. All right, guys. Well, we are back from Fab Speed, and you might be wondering if you saw the last upload, Mike. If you're running the wheels that were on the C7 ZR1 on the C6 now, what wheels are you going to run on the C7? Well, your answer is right here. I got a set of OEM and real ones, by the way, real GM, not reps, a uh, real GM. ZR1 wheels. If you recall back in the day, I did a C6, another oddly enough C6 build, and uh, we gave that car away. I put my my original ZR1 wheels on that car, so I didn't have those, but I bought another stock set. Ferris is home now, by the way, but yes, a stock set with the kind of standard issue GM, Michelin, whatever on the front, and a brand new R888 on the back. And at this power level, the R888 should do really well in a straight line and also be a little bit better, a little more friendly in the twisties if we're having fun. So let's go ahead and get those mounted up and we'll see how she looks. All right, get the whole car in the shot. I think we're good right there. Now we can do the cool edit in three, two, one, bam. I mean, all the aftermarket, yes, very humble of me to say, but I think all the aftermarket wheels I've had on the car have also looked really good, but uh, kind of forgot how badass the original star wheels are. They are pretty cool. So with all of this going on, you people out there that, now I don't wanna say conspiracy theory people, but you people that like to try to figure out what's going on behind the scenes or make predictions about what's going to happen, you people might have your spidey senses tingling right now, and I'm here to tell you that I'll have more info very soon. In the meantime, let's take the car out for a rip and see if we can remember what 850 wheel feels like. It's been a while. POV hat on, ZR1 engaged. Let's get it. So, first off, car feeling great, driving really good like a normal daily until you get on it a little bit and then she gives you a taste of what she's got under the hood. Oh, here we go. Oh, the red light. That's okay. But yeah, feels great. Still have the manual mode with the burbles. Whoa! If you want it and normal drive if you don't. God, that was loud. Traction off and let her rip. <laughs> Now, you will see the tire light, don't worry. We have air, but I don't have the pressure sensors yet. They didn't have them in stock, so I'll have to get those, and I will, but just don't worry. We're not, we don't have a flat tire. At least, I don't think we do. Now again, you can turn that off if you don't want it. If you go into drive mode, let off, no burbles. Let's try a 50 roll and go. No. <laughs> Quite a bit of spin, all right. Anyone who thinks 
that like 850 wheel isn't still a lot is kind of dumb. Like I, I know that, you know, a lot of cars have like 1200, 1500, whatever, but for a street car, like a normal daily driver car, 850 is insane still. Don't, don't ever, don't ever think it's not. Yeah, cut a ton of power in second and third there. I'm going to try traction off in third. Although I feel like that's going to be a spin fest. We'll find out. Okay, and go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> That'll do it. Oh, man. Wow. <laughs> Rolled into it a little bit there. Wow, that was epic. <laughs> yeah, it's still fast. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's still fast. Oh my God. The shift is so good. Still got that built trans. All right, well, she feels awesome. Okay, well, before I get arrested, she feels awesome and I think everything is fine. More good news, speaking of rain and water, check it out, water coming under the door. Not good, but I feel like it's only a problem because, again, it's been raining for like four days straight now, pretty hard. In fact, check out the little stream in the back. Now, normally that's not even really like a body of water. Maybe it's like muddy, but you can see right now it's actually kind of a river and whatever's going on in that guy's yard over there. Um, so normally I don't think this will be a problem. It hasn't been before, uh, but I'll have to keep an eye on that. Luckily, that's only trash. Those boxes got a little wet, but that's going in the trash anyway always something and i've learned very quickly when you have your own business it's always something some good news we have lighting coming tomorrow i know it's a little dark in here especially when it's not really bright outside even with the doors up it's pretty dark in here pretty dark pretty depressing but all new led lighting coming and maybe even some really cool hex lighting coming as well which i'm pretty pumped about last day by the way to get entered for the denali and 10 grand and to find a tool in your order so if you want to find a tool we got some goodies left over here that still have to go out makita milwaukee rigid uh dewalt ryobi a few things here and there uh, we still have all those tools to go out and to give out so if you want to enter for the denali and 10 grand get anything on the website and maybe find something extra in your order and uh, that's about all I got for you, but I, I did want to say um, it's Sunday, and I think I'll upload this on Sunday night, and uh, you know, nobody working on, on the weekend here. And there is a simple beauty of coming to the shop. I know it's not much right now. Uh, it's not anything special, it's small, it's dark, but like I said, but um, you know, I'm proud of it. And I don't think people will know how bad things really were for the past six months to a year. I guess I didn't even really realize it because I'm not the person that ever dwells on like, if I'm feeling down or whatever, I just keep going, right? So I didn't realize until I was here how like a giant weight felt lifted off my shoulders. And don't get me wrong, this has been a lot of work, but I am super pumped and uh, super motivated and, and, and energized and it's been really awesome. So, I guess the message is, and what I wanted to say is, no matter what happens in your life, no matter if you think you have everything figured out, like stuff, bad stuff can happen and it can come crashing down, but you gotta keep going because I didn't get paid for three months. I didn't really make a dollar for three months. I had my YouTube stuff coming in, but that doesn't even come close to paying for everything I was doing with the giveaways and all that. So I was well in the, in the negative for three months. And uh, not because sales weren't coming in, uh, they were. and. Um, you know, I had to deal with that, but I just wanted to say thank you guys for the support. It means the world to me. I'm working really hard on the videos and having a good time doing it, and that has paid off. It's great to see that feedback in the comments from you guys. And I guess my message is to always keep going, and no matter what you think you know on social media, it can be hard behind the scenes. As a video creator, I always try to make it, no matter what I do, I try to make it look like it went perfectly, right? Like everything was totally easy and fine. Um, and streamlined, but it's not always like that. And that certainly is true in life as well. So anyway, I won't drone on and on, but thank you guys. If you do wanna enter for the Denali and 10 grand, last day to do so and get a tool in your order. And if you enjoyed this upload, give it a big thumbs up, take care and have a great night.